brought at this hour, and as we listen to the voice of the Lord, we will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, we have this Lord. Now, before us, the message, the title is, Who is speaking to you to hear and obey? Who is speaking to you to hear and obey? Hallelujah. Amen. Right now, a lot of people are hearing so many voices. Many people are hearing different voices. Different voices are speaking to them. And one person is even having more than four pastors. That is different voices. Mm. Speaking to one ear. And I wonder how one ear can listen to ten voices of different pastors. Now, this is where the problem lies, brothers and sisters. A lot of people are hearing different voices every day. And we are going to, today, the Lord is letting us to know who is speaking to us to hear and to obey. Because right now, Satan has known that Jesus has sent out his angel. He has sent out his angel out there to go and bring back the soul to the kingdom. And also Satan sent his own people, his own people out there also to go and bring soul to him. Hallelujah. Amen. So... The Bible says in the book of John 10, 27, Jesus Christ said, My sheep hear my voice. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them. They follow me. Praise Master Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, brothers and sisters, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them. And they follow me. When they hear his voice, they follow him. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So, are you the sheep of Jesus Christ? That you hear when he speaks, and you listen and follow his voice and obey him. Because I tell you, whoever is speaking to you, and you hear and obey, you hear and obey, that is your master. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is your master. If it is Satan that is speaking through his agent to you, and you are hearing and obey, that is your master. Mm-hmm. If it is Jesus that is using his Sabbath to speak to you and you hear and you are obeying it. That is your master. Praise Master Jesus. This is why Jesus is saying now, my sheep hear my voice. Because Jesus Christ must use, he has um, children that he has put out the go and he became the word and said, the country free for me. Mm-hmm. So he speaks through them. And when he speaks through them to you, are they the one you are hearing from and obeying? Oh. The other master called Satan. Praise Master Jesus. So I tell you, brothers and sisters, if you don't know who is speaking to you now that you are hearing from and obeying, you are in problem. Mm. You are in problem. You have to run fast and know what is happening. Because anybody that speaks to you that you are hearing and obeying from, that is where your master lies. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, this is why the Bible lets us to know, my brothers and sisters, John 12, 49. Look at it here. Even Jesus Christ himself has no word of his own. So, even we, the children of God, the servant that he has said out there, they have no word of his own. So, you must know who is speaking to you and you are hearing from and obeying. Now, I read John 12, 49. He says, For I have not spoken on my own authority. Jesus is the one talking now. But for the Father who sent me, he gave me a command of what to what to say, and I should speak it. You see? So we gave him the command, and he would still tell him how to say it. If he had to eat, he's in trouble. Mm-hmm. If he takes from it, he's in trouble. He must say it the way God says, say it to them. He will not pay it. He will not compromise. He will not look at pockets. He will not look at faces. Mm-hmm. This is what Jesus Christ was doing. And you see what is happening here. And number 50 says, And I know the command is everlasting life. You see? Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me to what? Speak. This is what I gave to the people. Now, a servant of God, I tell you, a true child of God has no word of his own to speak. But as the Father will put in his mouth that I said him, he will command in his mouth, then he speak out. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder the Bible says, in first book, in Peter, in the book of Peter chapter 4, verse 11, he says, we minister, those that will minister, will minister in the habit that God will be supplying. That means, God has a supply. He supplies through the amount. Hallelujah. Amen. But today I tell you, Satan is also supplying. He's also supplying from the agent for you to hear. So you must know who is speaking to you, that you are hearing from and obeying. Because I tell you, many people are hearing different voices now. Hallelujah. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we must be careful and know who is speaking to us. This is what Jesus is saying here. He has no even word. So that means whoever God is sent. Now, we have no word of our own. The Father that has sent us is speaking to us. And whatever he says, we deliver to the people. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is telling you and I to be very, very careful at this hour of this judgment time. Hmm. Because a lot of people are being deceived right now with different voices. With different voices from a strange voice. Hallelujah. Praise God. No wonder the Bible said in James chapter 1, 21 to 25. He said, Therefore lay aside all futiness, overflow of wickedness, and receive with the meek of the impure world, which we able to save your soul. Take the word of God. You supposed to know the word of God. You cannot say that I'm a child of God. I have gave my life to Christ. And when word of truth will be coming, you will not know it. Then you are not born again. Mm. You cannot say the word of truth will be coming out of the mouth, the true child of God. You will not know that this is Jesus himself. This is the habit that God is supplying here. But today, a lot of us, because of the strange voice we are hearing out there, when we hear the true voice even on this mountain, we still find it difficult to understand why. So, I read on. Number 2, 22. He says, But do us, but be doers of this word, not hearer only, deceiving yourself. We will hear, after finish hearing, we don't do what we hear. Because of what? Because we are full of different voices speaking to us. We don't know the one to take no more. Mm. This is where the problem lies. If a true man of God speaks, we say we hear. But we don't do it. Why? Because we don't believe that is a true word. Because many voices, when we get to our church, another voice will speak again. We are not confused. We don't know the voice to follow. You have to be very careful who is speaking to you that you are hearing and obeying because if you hear the wrong side, that voice will lead you to hell. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I read on. He said, for if anyone hear of this word, be a hearer of this word, not a doer, it's like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself going away immediately. He forgot the kind of man he was in the mirror. He can never be blessed. He's always high. He can never be stable. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But look at the last. He said that who look into the perfect law of liberty and he continue, not forgetting hearing, but the doers of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. This one will be blessed in everything he does. He hears. Because he does not listen to different voices. He recognizes the voice of the shepherd, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, when he speaks from his harvest. So this one will be blessed. Because he does, he knows the voice of Jesus when he's speaking from his son. He knows the habit that God is supplying. He takes it and he does it and he's blessed. This is why many of us are blessed today. This is why some are not blessed. We take it. We don't know the voice to, under, to take again. We are not blessed. But the one that understands the voice of Jesus Christ, the voice that cry in the wilderness, he take it and he observes it. He do it. What the word is saying. That is what the Bible is telling us here. If you love, that is what he's telling us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if you must be ready to take away, brothers and sisters, you must be ready to do what the Lord is saying now. You must be ready to take away wickedness out of your life. Because when you are not yet
very different voices. That means the spirit of wickedness has come, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is following Satan up and down. Mm -hmm. You must be ready to take wickedness away and humble yourself. Humble yourself and accept the word that you are hearing. Accept the word to yourself that will save your soul. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Do not make listening to the word alone. But do what is do what is saying and stop deceiving yourself. Do what the word is saying. Do what is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the child of God. This is why he said 25, he will be blessed in everything he does. Because he understands when Jesus speaks from a man. He's not being confused. He's not being, he can never be deceived. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the one that hear the voice of the shepherd. He heard only one voice. He is not ready to hear two voices. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So this one will be blessed in everything he does. So this is the reason why some are blessed, some are not blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, brothers and sisters, in the book of John 14, 23 to 24, look at what the Lord is telling you and I again. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at what the Lord is telling us here. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Do you see? At 24, he who does not love me, he who does not love me, does not keep my word. And the word which I hear is not of me, but of the Father who sent me. Hallelujah. Why are you still deceived? Many of us, that means a lot of us are claiming we love Jesus, but we don't truly love him. Mm -hmm. This is why when we hear his word, we find it difficult to understand. This is Christ talking to us. Then we are looking for another voice to tell us the truth. When we have already heard the truth. That means you don't love him. And 24 says, he just confirmed it. Because you don't love him. Whoever does not love him does not receive his word. That is the problem. You don't love him really. This is why when the true word of God is speaking out your mouth, the child, the true child of servant of God, you find it difficult to believe. Then you are looking for another voice to speak to you to hear. And some of us will take the Bible passage and take it to our pastor in the churches. So come and preach it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I tell it to you, any Bible passage that has been spoken on this mountain, and you take it to anybody, and it turns it outside, and it does not say the way you heard it on this mountain, I tell you, you are finished. Mm -hmm. You are in trouble. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I tell you, I prove it to you, whether you like it or not, this mountain is an holy mountain. Yeah. The God of this mountain, I, for what I don't want to die young, because yeah. it's my life I am carrying right now. Yeah. And nobody prays to take away his life. Yeah. So, I will not say what I, I know after finishing, then I will be dead with. Yeah. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid, because I will not like to die young. So, every word that anyone will want to say on this mountain, he will look upon his head and hold his head back. Because mm -hmm. if he says and he knows he has not the word he has been sent to say, let him wait for the repercussion. Mm -hmm. That means he's ready to face the consequences. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm not ready. I don't know of anybody. Me, I'm not ready to die young. I'm not ready to face the pain. I'm not ready for Satan to come and have a way to enter me after mm -hmm. I've caused him. Mm -hmm. Because if you sin against God, you are in trouble in the hands of Satan. Mm -hmm. So, brothers and sisters, if you take it to any man and he plant and he take that passage again and preach it to your ear, you are not happy against it, and he does not preach it the way that preach it on this mountain, brothers and sisters, you are in trouble. You are finished. You are just being deceived. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, my brothers and sisters, look at what the Lord is still telling us this hour again, the book of John 20, 21. Look at it again. And so the Bible says, Jesus said to them, Peace be unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, peace be unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, I have also sent you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Do you see? I have also sent you. Meaning, whoever God sent, he speak the word of God there. Do you see it? He said, as my father has sent me, I also sent you. Meaning, whoever God sent, he will speak the word of God. Mm-hmm. Because Christ sent him. But I tell you, whoever devil sent, he, will, he can never speak the word of God. If he tried to speak it, it will not take him one full day for him to be disgraced. Mm. Because Christ will not allow him to speak his word out of that, that beauty tongue. Christ will not allow him to say the right word out of that tongue that will be filthy. Mm. He will put it into disgrace. Mm. So that the people will know that he tried it. There's something under that tongue. He's using, there is something under that tongue. But he tried to cover it and speak truth to the people. Mm. And there is something on that that is not right. Mm. He will prove it to the people for the people to know he's a lying tongue from the pit of hell. Mm-hmm. He's trying to come out with a true tongue. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder the Bible has already said that Satan has turned the ministry, his ministry of darkness to the ministry of light. Mm-hmm. The agent of darkness has sent to agent of light now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Christ will not allow them to speak his word Amen. out of that their mouth. Praise Amen. Amen. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, you must be careful with speaking to you now at this hour, this season that we are now, that you are hearing and obeying from. If not, you are in trouble. Mm-hmm. You are finished. I pray the Lord will save us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, whoever God says, speak the word of God. This is what Satan sees, brothers and sisters. This is what he sees. And he also sent his agent out there right now. So go and be speaking to people to hear and obey. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Did you see? Hallelujah. Amen. And now the Bible is telling us, you and I, look at what Jesus Christ is letting us to know. In the book of John 34, 36, he says, For, nah, look at this, whoever God said, speak the word of God. And God does not give the spirit by measure. 35. Did you see it? 35. That means God says somebody. You look at what Christ told us. He said, as my father has sent me, so also I sent you. And look at what John 3, 34 to 36 is telling us now. He said, whoever God sent, he speaks the word of God. Mm-hmm. And God does not give the spirit by measure. Did you see? That means God sent his son. And his son is sending us now. He sent us. So, are you hearing from who God has sent, or you are still hearing from that strange voice? You have to think twice. 20, 35, I read on. He said, the Father loved the Son, and He gave everything unto His hand. Do you see? As God gave everything to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, as my Father has sent me, so also I sent you. I put everything in your hand. That means we are ready. We are speaking the word of God. The true servant of God must speak the word of God. Mm-hmm. The last verse, he said, who believes in that son, he has everlasting life. But who does not believe in that son, he has no life. But God anger. You see, the anger of God abide on that person. If you are the one, you are not believing the true word that comes out of the servant, the true servant of God, you are in trouble. Mm-hmm. You are in trouble. He said, because the rod of God the hunger of God is a bar on that person. Whoever does not believe it, that's not. And a servant, a true servant of God that speaks to you, and you do not believe it, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. The hunger of God is upon you. You have to run back now. Whatever word you have heard from the true servant of God, because a child of God that gave the life to Christ, he said, I'm a child of God. You must know whether Christ is speaking or not. Let us stop deceiving ourselves. Mm-hmm. You must know. But the problem is, we are hearing different voices. We don't know the one to take again. But the one that understands the true voice is being blessed every day. Spiritually, maritally, everywhere. But we don't know the secret. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, under the sound of my voice at this hour, Look at what the Lord is telling us right now, you and I. In the book of Isaiah 34, verse 1. Isaiah 34 is telling us this hour what we need to do now. We say, come near. Look at what he's telling us. He said, come near, you nation, and hear. I heard the people, you people, let the head hear, and all that is on it, the word, and all the things that come forth from it. 
let them hear now. You must know who is speaking to you to hear and obey because the judgment in the world is at hand. Mm. The judgment is at hand right now. Pay attention. The Lord is telling us, pay attention very well and listen. Know who you are hearing from, who is speaking to you. The voice that is speaking from that pastor to you. The voice that is speaking to that pastor woman, even right now, there are women, a woman pastor is putting on, is not wearing glasses, is not wearing weapon, but I tell you, an evil is planted in his church. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you have to be very careful. <laughs> Satan is even using the dressing code to deceive the people. Mm -hmm. I am telling you what the Lord showed me, I'm not saying a fabricated word. Mm -hmm. A woman, look at where he put the church. If you see where he put the church, it's so mighty, a big house. People are happy right now, say, hey, God is blessing this woman. Because there are cars, he's driving jeep all, all over the street. But people are happy, God is blessing this woman. <laughs> this is the kind of church I need to go and attend now, so that God will still bless me. But I tell you, there are evil spread on the floor of the church. Mm -hmm. That whoever enters, you are finished. Whoever enters, you are already subject to devil. But they are happy, because their heart is blind. Oh, they are blind, they are not open to see. Mm -hmm. Praise my master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is why we need to be very careful. Even the one the Lord said, tell her. To pray two prayer points and say, God, open my eyes to know this pastor. Two, open my eyes to see the foundation of this church, they just newly open up. But as you were God, he said, No, he have no time to listen. Mm. Because they all believe now they are in a good place. They are in the right place. God is there. But mm. they are blind. They are deaf. To understand where they are is not right. It's not right. Hallelujah. I'm mm -hmm. telling you in the Lord that I live here. What are my heart I'll be open by the special grace of God to see what is in the church. But this is a woman wearing skirt and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, we have to be very careful. And now, Satan is speaking through that woman now for the people to hear and obey. But when you, that the Lord is directing to go and save them, they don't want to hear from you. The one they are hearing mm. inside there is enough for them. You don't have anything to say. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. Mm. So my brothers and sisters, mm. I tell you this hour, you have to be very careful. I know the words that are speaking to you. The Lord has done so much on us on this mountain. Why are we still ready to devote ourselves, our ears to that demon? Praise Master Jesus. Mm. The Bible mm. says to us in Matthew 13, 43, the Lord, brothers and sisters, he says, then the righteous will shine forth as a son in the kingdom of their father. He will have ye, let him hear now. Mm. If you are, let me tell you, if you are not careful of the voices that are speaking to you now, that you are hearing from, you are finished, oh, I tell you, you are finished. You have been deceived. You have been deceived and you will end up in hell. Because the Bible is saying, only the righteous, only the righteous is said he will shine. Like a son in the kingdom of their God, mm -hmm. not a sinner. Praise Master Jesus, because Peter has a kingdom also, you can go and shine there. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. Mm -hmm. Only the righteous is said, not a sinner. So mm -hmm. we have to be very careful because if you if you are listening to a strange voice of Satan, you will head up in where Satan is. Mm -hmm. He's waiting there to receive that, that person that is listening to his voice. I tell you for a woman right now. To imagine a pastor went to a woman's house to go and tell a woman, don't receive any call again. And the woman kindly just fool and know that the direction of a servant of God, somebody gave you a number. What the Lord has done in her life. Mm -hmm. He gave a testimony and he called you for what you explained to her and tell you there is a God somewhere that can help you, that help me. You not go. Come and go there and let that God still help you. And you came, the God has helped you, and a pastor came from nowhere mm -hmm. and tell you, don't receive any call again. <laughs> don't let anybody talk to you on phone. Mm -hmm. Don't pray with anybody. You can be praying at home. Mm -hmm. Because that demon spirit on him, he has discovered that you are located in the right place to exactly. be free from bondage. Exactly. exactly. Do you see, brothers and sisters? And this woman kindly off her phone. 
Cortez, she don't pick her. When she pick her, it begins to explain. I tell you right now what this woman is facing. She and the question was asking her, when did you know this man? He said, whether for a years ago or be, uh, maybe almost a year after years now. Now, since you know this so-called man, have he ever come to you? He said that is what surprised her now. That since he know this man, he has never hear such thing from this man. And she is confused right now. She don't know what to do. And she's afraid. Even friends call her. Even the person that gave her the number of the servant of God, she don't pick that one call again. That one has to look, say her to where she was, to go and look for her. Why are you not be picking my call? What is happening? You have changed. This is what a pastor has done in the life of a woman. This woman has just succeeded being deceived now by a strange voice. You must know he's speaking to you that you are hearing and he just hear and obey. Now, I understand very well. If you people know what they are doing, how can a man come to you and tell you, now he has not done it before, but immediately you start connecting with a man, praying with a man on phone. Mm. Now, they have got a channel and come to you, want to come and block that channel for you. And you just go to it. And look at what she just did. On instantly, she don't pick the call again of the man. She stopped picking the call. A man to pray for God to open and say, that call he must receive. This is how he was be able to speak to on that faithful morning. And she say all this. That she is being like, she's confused right now. Hmm. She's confused and be afraid. She don't know what to do because she has never experienced such thing in her life. Do you see what the people are doing out there to the children of God? When people are being saved from the bondage of Satan, when they recognize it, the demon is there, we tell them to go and blow the channel so that they will not be saved. Brothers and sisters, you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. This is what Brother Jeremiah told us. Look at what the Lord is telling us here through our brother. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 21. Look at what the Lord is telling you and I. We have to be very careful. He says, Hear this now, all you foolish people, without no understanding. You have ears. You have eyes you cannot see. You see not. And you have ears you cannot hear. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you there? The Lord is saying through the mouth of our brother Jeremiah, talking to you and I. Are you being foolish? You have eyes, you cannot see. That God is sending a servant that he has sent to you to save you, to save your soul. And you are not listening? Or you have ears, you are not using it to hear what the Lord is saying from the mouth piece, from the servant, the true servant he has sent to your way. I tell you, Satan is waiting to speak. Mm. Satan agent is there to speak for you as she has speak to that woman now. I tell you, she now she don't pick her again. But I understand one thing to you, brothers and sisters. I understand one thing. If you can locate that he is that man of God that you are praying with, that is the man that he, and now you said he does not mention one particular person. I will later tell you the particular person. <laughs> that is what I say to her. But now you now you yourself now understand that is that man you are praying with. Then you stop picking that phone. That means you are to man, you are using directly to say that man of God is not right. So this is what some of us are doing. We have to be very careful. Because if you know a true servant of God, if you see a true servant of God, that is the question I ask her. Can a woman that gave you a number? So say, come and follow this way that I follow. If that way they are killing people there, will it tell you to come and also die? He said, no. Then why do you not have a second, that thought in you, that that man must be the direction? Let me not pick his call again. Do you see what the demon, hmm. once they receive that voice today, when that voice enters you, brothers and sisters, you are finished. You are finished. Praise Master Jesus. Hmm. The last we are taking because of time. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Look at what the Lord is telling us. Verse 1 to 2. He says, Now the Spirit expressly saying 
Hey, this is what we are saying now. I expressly say that later time, some of you will depart away from your faith mm -hmm. and give ear to that deceiving spirit, that demon, that doctrine of demon, that speak lies, hypocrites, having their own conscience, share with what? A hot iron. Mm. This is what is happening right now. Many people are taking away the faith of the Lord because of the deceiving spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Many of us are being deceived by those we have abandoned the faith that we have and followed that demon spirit. Just as we have just unholy to her, she's gone. I pray the Lord deliver her Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, we need to be very careful who is speaking to us. We are hearing from our obeying. So that we will not go ahead of because I tell you, we are on the judgment line now. When judgment comes, whoever you hear his voice, you will follow. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So, brothers and sisters, you have been hearing strange voice. You don't know the one to take again. You have been hearing the true word on this mountain. And you still go home and take it to one pastor. And when they preach it there, they don't preach it the way they preach it here. You will be happy. Think it that they mm -hmm. are preaching well for you. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You have to surrender to Jesus now to help you. Mm -hmm. So that you not be deceived, deceived like that woman now. You are in trouble. You have to surrender now to Jesus. Let him help you. I tell you, it will take the grace of God to deliver that woman now. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to pick her again. I'm always praying to God in my spirit now for God to help her. Oh, Jesus. She don't pick her again. Even in, in message, she don't send a text. She don't even do it. So I pray. So you are here on this mountain. You are on that category. Come out now. Let the Lord help you. Before you become in that level of that state that you will not be called again when the man of God is not even still calling you. That means you have been led astray in the wrong time. So you are on this mountain. You are not giving your life to Christ. Your case is just different. You, you are finished. You are finished. Because you have not no Christ. Oh, Your case is not different. Mm -hmm. So come out now and said, I am here. I want to give my life to Christ. I want to accept the Lord as my Lord and personal Savior. So that I will not be deceived by a strange voice. By those demonic uh, doctrines. By a strange voice. You see what we write now in Timothy? This is where it lies. So that you don't follow that strange voice. Come out now. Or you are here. You are hearing strange voice. And you still not blessed. You don't know what is happening. That is what is causing it. You cannot be blessed. When you hear the word of truth, you only hear it, you don't do it. Because you hear strange voice. You don't know the one to follow. Oh, you hear from Apostle Malwe. You hear from Apostle Ike. You hear from Apostle You hear from all the, 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 the lost sisters. The Lord used them to speak. You still don't know where to follow. You are still looking for voices to speak for you. I tell you, you are finished. You have to come out now and let the Lord help you. One minute. My time is run up. My time has run up. One minute. I present every one of us on this mountain. You have time, more, please. Whatever I got, please, please. This one is serious. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? You want the Lord to help you. You are not blessed. You don't know why. That is where it lies. Hmm. You hear from every voice that the Lord speaks through. But you are still looking for voice to speak that message to you again. And I tell you, Satan is already speaking to you, and you are confused. You are confused. The demon spirit are already speaking through the pastors, because only you want to have ten pastors. One in Africa, Tafashan, in UK, in all. Only you, only one year. You are hearing from ten pastors. You are finished. You are finished. Because your ear will not hear the truth again. Because Christ speak once. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, my sheep hear my voice. Mm -hmm. If he speak to you, when you see someone speaking to you, you don't need anybody to tell you again before you know this is a servant of God. Mm -hmm. This is a true servant of God. Look at that woman now. If he's really a child of God, he knows what he's doing. He will know that of a truth, the one that, how can somebody lead you to where they will kill you? And now, is where you, where you think, that is where you put your mind now that is the call is coming from. But you are still answering that your pastor, that demonic pastor. It's oh, finished. Jesus. The Lord will help her. Jesus name. So, yeah. are you all here? You are in that category. 
Come out now, let the Lord help you. Because before he comes to the church, that you no longer pick up again where they seek on you. Because if, before he finish your heart and lock it up, because if you see that heart up, if that demon spirit is there, if those pastors see your heart, you are finished. You will no longer hear go or call again. Mm. I present every one of us. We are born again, and we are the sheep of the shepherd of Jesus Christ. And whenever I use the servant to speak to us, we hear and obey it, and we don't hear in the other way the voice of the demon or those deceiving spirits. And I pray as we are, we stay on it. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will help us, and no strange voice will speak to our ear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray as many of us under the sound of my voice this hour that are hearing the true servant of God, and we obey, we hear and do what He said. The Lord will set fire in our ear, and no strange voice will speak to that ear in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. When they want to speak to us, that fire will burn that mass in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. And our heart is sealed up not Amen. to hear from that demon in spirit the in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Only the word of God, we, our heart will be open for to hear in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. God bless Amen. you. Amen. 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 Am